Hi, Dawn Lewis here, and it's day two of Seven Ways in Seven Days, featuring Lawn Fawn's Love You A Latte stamp set and only three stamps. Let's have a go at making a full-size card. I'm using a six by six sweater weather paper pad, a card base, watercolor paper, archival ink, zig clean color, real brush markers, adhesive, sequins, and let's get going by putting adhesive all the way around the edge of the front of the card. A little in the middle helps it not to buckle and just release, take off all that paper. Starting with the orange pattern paper. Now get it at an angle that's comfortable for you and it will help you to get it straight. You can see I fussed with it a bit here. I've lined it up so that it's perfectly in one corner and when I line the edge up straight with one side of the card, it is perfect all the way across. When trimming like this, you've got the straight edge of the card, so it's super handy to use. Use larger scissors rather than small. You do less individual cuts with large scissors, and so it's less room for error. Also taking that other small part of pattern, pattern paper off across the top of the card there, and then we will be ready to dress our card up even further. Now this is a super simple card to make and I'm cutting a one inch strip from another piece of pattern paper from that paper pad and you can see I've laid it on top so I can see how far up to put my adhesive so I don't end up putting adhesive right at the top and then cutting it off and the piece doesn't stick. And this is a great basic card so if you're a beginner stamper or card maker have a go at something like this. Switching to watercolour paper now and the archival ink. I'm using that because we're working with watercolour markers and this will not run. I'm stamping the breading with a bit of space about it because I am going to die cut it later on and I'm going to stamp three of the takeaway coffee cups in archival ink and just trim them away so we can get colouring. Now here I'm using the Clean Colour Real Brush Markers by Zig. Our brown colours are 062, 060 and 072. I'll put all the colours on the blog. Orange is 052, 070, 02. Two, three, and our blue markers are 030, 032 and 038. I'm also using an aqua brush just to give the lid a little bit of a wash. I'm using the coordinating I love you a latte dye to cut out my coffee cups and I've also used a stitched circle to cut out our greeting as well. I used a scrap of brown cardstock left over from a previous project and just cut a small triangle out of the end to create a bit of a banner and I'm going to put that across the bottom there kind of as a shelf for our coffee cups to sit on. So it doesn't need a whole lot of adhesive and I cut it a little longer than I needed so that I could cut the edge off straight and not bother with the ruler this time. So I did decide on using the mustachioed face again because I'm using the same accessory stamp everywhere but instead of the coffee cups I've added it above the greeting and I think that that's really sweet. To mat our greeting I'm using a slightly larger stitch circle die. This one is two inches. The greeting is cut at one and a half inch circle. Just running that through the die cut machine and um, it just cuts out beautifully and leaves this faux stitched line all around the inside edge of that beautiful mat. So very simple to assemble now, a little double-sided tape on the back of the greeting which is going to go on the back or onto the centre of our mat and the coffee cups, I wanted to get them straight before I stuck them on, make sure they were kind of evenly spaced. Simple adhesive to pop those on as well, very very easy. This is a tape runner from Kmart. They're $2. They're disposable, but you know what? If you just need something quick and easy, they're an excellent choice. Now I did want to pop it up and I've used a little square of fun foam left over from an old project and I'm just roughly cutting it to see if it will fit and it does. And I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive to put that onto the back of the grating. You really want to stick it down well and then more adhesive on the other side to stick it onto the card. And we're on the home stretch. There's only one thing left to do. Sequins! This is a Halloween set by Pretty Pink Posh and I'm using my Tombow Mono Adhesive to just pop them on the card. I like to make them look random. It's so hard to make things look random. I don't know why. And here's the finished result. Absolutely loved making this card. It's a very simple layout for a very 
easy card to make. As promised, here's the twist. I am using Science of Love. How cute are these geeky birds? My hero stamp is the green bird, my accessory is the pink bird, and my greeting is I only have eyes for you. More details on my blog for this card. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying watching this series. Thank you for subscribing. Have a crafty day and I will see you next time. Bye for now.